Yo, what's up guys, welcome back for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video next match, Cross Balanced Cup. Left side again, uh, still group E, last match there, both uh, these decks can still move on to the top 16. And, um, well, <laughs> there's only one year difference between both these decks. One in Master Rule, three being Zodiac Beasts, featuring Northern and Fusion Substitute. Um, I guess one of the most degenerate decks ever in this game's history. It's going to take on Electromite Turbo, the deck that you see here, OCG if I'm not mistaken. Um, super consistent, I mean a format where Electromite is, um, multiple copies of Electromite is legal with the maximum amount of Astrograph Sorcerer plus triple Wavering Eyes, that's just bonkers, right? Um, again, as I mentioned before, it's going to take on Zodiac Beasts, I guess. Hmm. Was about to say one of the most powerful list, if not the most powerful, you know, variant of Zodiac Beast. And, um, you know, that's a deck that has access to Norden. Crazy deck. Uh, going first is important, but again, both, um, you know, decks have those important side deck cards. But, um, I mean, especially game number one, it's, it's so crucial to go first. And Zodiac is able to go first. Um, let me think. I should, um, well, there are a couple of hand traps I can play into, uh, there's Ash Blossom, Ghost Ogre and the one of Maxi, I think, right? But um, this hand is so broken, you have Terror Top to potentially force out a negation or interruption. If not, there is still Tanky for, let's say, a normal summon Red Spear. And, um, you know, if, if you have that instant fusion first turn or because of this combo with, you know, using Daikusta Emerald multiple times, you can, I, I can't remember, like, like full combo, you draw like five cards. I think I should be drawing like five cards, not, not sure. But it's somewhere like that, you know, using um, Dacusto Emerald twice. Um, there is a fusion substitute draw, so that's uh, also two fusion substitutes. And then there should be another draw, probably something that I'm missing, right? A third emerald? Hmm, I don't think so. I mean, you can something like Pendulums, you can definitely end on, you know, Tornado Dragon, for example. This is an iffy play on my part. You, um, well, if he as in maybe greedy, you'd rather just, you know, I guess because of the potential grind game, keeping at least one emerald um, in the extra deck is more crucial, right? Um, because deck kind of can get out of steam really soon. So, uh, but I mean, let's not look at this. I mean, I'm not sure. Did I draw like four or five cards? And that's the thing with Zodiac Beasts, again with like decks nowadays, is those like one slash two card engines. And then the rest of your deck you can just fill with hand traps. And that's the thing with Zodiac, uh, you're main decking, oh let me think, there is Maxi, right? There is uh, Ghost Ogre, Ash Blossom is there. I think that's it. Um, the potential side deck is still there also. I'm looking at Anti-Spell from the top of my head. Not really a hand trap, but it's definitely a card I can side tick in, right? Um, and yeah, with, with access to Brawl Bull, the deck is just flat out broken. Uh, I can use the um, uh, Barrage here on Ram 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 triggers for Whiptail, for, you know, for the potential OTK. They should be OTK. I can just, you know, just normal summon uh, another Whiptail, get rid of the uh, Chronograph, yep. And then, um, as you know, easy OTK does do, like, what is this? <laughs> Plus 12 or something like that. But again, doesn't really matter. Uh, Tornado Dragon, Ash Blossom, Ghost Ogre, Dryden for those interruptions, right? Going second, and this opening hand is, is okay. I mean, going second, Ash Blossom is always nice. But, um, I mean, one in this case, it, it kind of, you know, stopped Pendulums in its tracks. That opening hand is, well... If it wasn't for Ash Blossom, that hand was super broken. You had the potential Wavering Eyes, uh, I mean, searching whatever, potential Wisdom Eye, I don't know, um, with already the Astrograph Sorcerer in hand. So that opening hand would have been mind-blowingly overpowered, but that's the thing. It's it's weak to disruption, let's say Ghost Ogre on a potential uh, Wisdom Eye, right? Uh, but this time it was Ash Blossom and um, I mean it, it was a hint right using both scales uh, rank uh, not rank but um, a scale of eight high risk high reward but nope Ash Blossom did save the day so 2-0 in favor of Zodiac so it's going really well but again still go second and uh, I take a look at my opening hand and no hand trap this time so that's a bummer but I mean it's fine. 
if I lose this one, I'll be going first next. And, you know, there's stuff like anti-spell there, dimensional barrier. You know, those are just MVPs against a deck like Pendulums. Um, this, I guess, is Pendulums. Well, I was about to say best hand, but it, it, it's there. You can end. Well, you have a couple of options, I guess. Ending on Baguska is, uh, well, could be, could be, ah, no, I was about to say could be game, but, you know, there is still double Dark Hole and Dragegeki, so, okay, I could get not knowing or just not going for Baguska, okay, that might be a reason, so I guess going for Deco Dark or Vortex uh, for the one of Negation and, and to see Ash Blossom is there, ah, okay, and the Pendulum Graph Trap is also there. So I tried to use Barrage on its own, might be a sign of weakness, and uh, yeah, I guess you're going to use the uh, Pendulum Graph Trap for like a normal Summon Zoo, and that's probably indeed game. Uh, now again, Master Rule 4 Pendulums can just Pendulum Summon, and this should indeed be game. Well, okay, I do have like, what is it, Warning Sets, but obviously again, that Broken Trap card is still there, getting rid of the last phase done, and then, you know, as a Pendulum player, you can freely go for the full Pendulum Summon, and that should be game over. Um, what is it called? The Venom. Oh, Venom. Copying, that's Venom, right? Copying an Electromite, that's quite ridiculous. Okay. Okay, that's fine. 2-1, it's still in front, and I can go first, and, um, I draw anti-spell. I'm like, okay, that's fantastic. Let's see if there's any hand trap. One Nexi, uh, triple Ash Blossom, Ghost Ogre maybe. That's, that's pretty much it, unless I'm mistaken. No hand traps. So I'm like, oh, oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is Zodiax. Again, the Terror Top. Um, I can draw like a couple of cards. Uh, keep recycling Black Sheep. Plus, you know, Fusion Substitute, keep recycling, Northern, ah, broken, 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 broken. Getting myself a couple of draws and um, having already Ash Blossom in my hand, that's fantastic. Already having Anti-Spell, superb, and then, you know, everything else is bonus. So search black sheep. This should be one extra draw, right? Oh, okay, that's one extra or a triple blossom. <laughs> well, I can only use one, I guess. So Northern hits the board. I could potentially, or I should be ending on uh, Emerald for the extra draw. Uh, Terror top that's not live and uh, should be ending on Trident as well. And uh, Tornado, is it? Yeah, should be. Uh, so I mean, what, 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 what do I need more? It, this is, I guess, the best, op well, one of the best openings, I guess, I can have with the deck. But the game is not over. You see there, in the hands, or a far right side, <laughs> evenly matches is coming. So I immediately flip over the anti-spell, let's see if there's a, like a cyclone, no cyclone, and I get evenly. But I'm like, okay, just keep anti-spell, right? It's still anti-spell, it still should cripple uh, Pendulum's the entire mechanic. So Ash Blossom Joker, and yep. It does cripple Pendulums, and luckily no Pendulum Graph Trap, even though, you know, it's only at one in a Pendulum deck. And now, I can somewhat capitalize on that, but uh, the advantage is not there, because, um, let me think, the Teratop indeed was not live, you know, it didn't send um, the Tekkenomborg from my graveyard back to the uh, deck. Uh, keep in mind, and I'm well aware of a potential Chronograph, uh, Astrograph, so here the attached Whiptail to a Dryden is crucial because now the monster it destroys it will be banished instead so I don't think you can drop chronograph nor astrograph right I mean yeah, even well is it important it might well yeah maybe depends on potential exceed or fusion summoning right not sure if there are higher attack well uh, I believe the Venom is also 2-8, uh, like uh, Dryden, Dryden is also 2-8, but let's say like Chronograph is 2k, I think, Astrograph is also 2500, Just, so those aren't as strong as, uh, as Dryden, right? And, uh, you know, I'm just going to flip over the um, Dirageki, uh, Astrograph is chained, which, you know, will just get met by the Ash Blossom, and now I can finally go for a game, so that evenly matched almost got uh, he, uh well uh, almost got a uh, pendulum is back in a duel but imagine uh, there being a cyclone as well you know like chain cyclone on anti spell and then boom evenly matched the game would have been much more different right but but still um i think 3 1 is I, I think well deserved. I mean, if we take a look at like like side decks as well, hand traps also, consistency, there are many more factors, but it is what it is. So, Danger Thunder taking up first place. It'll move on to the top 16 playoffs, uh, just like Zodiac's. Zodiac Beast 2017 will start on the bottom. 
So that's it. Uh, next group will be group B. We have Chaos Return versus Grand Soil Psychics. Interesting one. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.